Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's video. So the first thing you might notice that I've never had on this channel before is this background. So as some of you guys might be aware, if you've watched my previous video, then I have recently, well, I say recently, I've been here about a month now. Um, I'm in my new university house and it is so nice. I'm so happy with my room. I will do a full on room tour when I get the chance. There's just a few more bits and pieces that I want to kind of make my room feel a bit more homely but yeah that is very exciting that I've moved house I also feel like I look a little bit like a floating head today um so I will have to watch this back hopefully it's going to be okay I didn't really know what to wear today also I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit funny I have a really really bad cold at the moment and I've had it for about a week I've been meaning to film this video for so long but I just don't feel a hundred percent but I'm thinking now like I have no idea when I'm gonna feel okay again and I really want to get a video up on my channel I don't want to leave it too long in between my videos so I'm filming it I'm sorry if my voice sounds annoying but we're just gonna have to roll with it so today's video as you can tell from the title is going to be an autumn clothes haul yeah I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it so first up I have got a lot from Zara um, it's pretty much a Zara haul and then a few other bits. So I'll show you everything I got from Zara first. Some of you may know that I absolutely love Zara. It is my favorite shop at the moment. My summer wardrobe was pretty much all Zara and my autumn wardrobe seems to be going that way too. They have so many nice things at the moment. So yeah, let's kick it off with the Zara bits and pieces. I'll also put some try on clips as well so you can see what the items look like when they're on. So the first item is this long sleeve top. You are really not gonna be able to see this very well against the background, I do apologize. It has got a collar and you can see the buttons there. It was 15 pounds which I think is so good for a really good quality long sleeve top. Um, the sleeves have like the elasticated bit and it's like cropped but it's not super cropped like I feel like this would look really nice with jeans um, and it doesn't show like your belly like even though it is a bit cropped it's not like if you're wearing high-waisted jeans basically then like you don't show any skin which I quite like in the autumn because it means that I can layer this up and put some tops underneath if I want to and I love that top so much that I also got it in black <laughs> um, once I love a top I have to buy it in multiple colors but I know I am going to get so much wear out of these tops I know they're really basic but that is exactly why you'll get so much wear out of them and it's not the kind of thing that's going to go out of fashion so I absolutely love both of these as always Zara have really good quality material um and yeah I got both of these in a small the next thing that I got isn't really autumn-y but it is still new in Zara so I thought I'd show it anyway and it is this super cute like pink it's kind of like a corset style top so I absolutely love the color of this it is like such a bright vibrant pink um and I've got one of my best friend's birthdays next week so I think I might wear this for that but just little tops like this I know that I get so much wear out of wear them on nights out nice dinners anything like that this was £20, so a little bit more on the pricey side, but I do think that I'll get a lot of wear out of this, and I picked this up in an extra small, and I'm normally like an eight, just for reference. The top has also got loads, I think it's called boning, like down the front to give it a bit more structure, and it means it sits really nicely when you're wearing it. And then the next thing that I got is this bright green jumper. Um, oh, I really love it on camera. Like this is the one thing that, I was like, I don't know 100% if I'm gonna keep this. I haven't worn it yet. I haven't taken the tags off or anything. Um, I thought I'd buy it in store anyway. I'll try it on at home and then I'll see what I think. But I do have another green jumper that I brought recently. They are completely different, but I'm like, can I justify two green jumpers? And I do love this, like it's very bright. But then the other part of me is like, am I gonna get enough wear out of it? Then the other part of me is like, it's so good for layering because it's like nice and thick and long and I don't know, it's really comfortable. So I think I'm gonna try this on again, like as an outfit and see how much I love it. This was 26 pounds. So again, more on the pricey side, but for a really good thick quality jumper, I don't think that's too bad because you know like it's gonna keep you so warm. Um, it's kind of like got these balloon sleeves. It's very loose. I did pick this up in a medium but just to be like a bit more cozy next up I have two very similar well they are the same tops to each other um, but like different colors again they are kind of similar to the first two tops I showed but these are a lot more fitted um, and it hasn't got buttons and it's a lot more cropped so I got this in a small I think yeah I got this in a small 
Um, you'll be able to see better in the try-on clip, but it's just got this V-neck detailing and it's also a really nice ribbed material. So you guessed it, I also picked it up in another colour. I got this in brown. Again, I got it in a small. I love brown. This is like a really nice chocolate brown. Brown was so in last winter and I feel like it's going to be so in this autumn winter again. And this was £12. Both of these tops like the black and the brown were £12 they have loads of other colours as well I really want the blue one it's like an electric colour blue but every time I go in they never have it in my size um but yeah I thought these were really nice and again very good quality material and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it because they're kind of like a basic long sleeve top also from Zara I picked up a couple of their bodysuits I have never owned a Zara bodysuit and I feel like everyone has these bodysuits and I've never like jumped on the hype but Oh my god, I absolutely am obsessed. I also got this in black, but my sister accidentally took the black one with her back to college, so she is posting that to me, but I love both of these so much. They also are kind of like double lined inside. It's gonna be really hard to show, but if you can see that, it's like double lined inside, which is really nice. It's such a good quality, like it's really soft and stretchy, which makes it super comfortable. They're kind of like racer neck, um, style again you'll be able to see better in the try on clip they had loads of colors of these as well um so i'm sure i'll be collecting more now i am on the hype but yeah i absolutely love this i can't remember how much it was i want to say 12 pound but i'll have to double check that next up again is kind of not autumn but it is in their new in collection and it is this little black crop top this is going to be a lot easier to show in the try on clip so it's got these like strings which means that you can tie it like a few different ways so i tend to cross it over over like that um, and wear it that way it has like wiring in this bit which means that it keeps the shape really well because sometimes when I've had tops like this in the past they just don't look like how they should do on me um, so the wire makes it stay in its shape it is such a thick like material as well it's such good quality um, it's like triple layered or something and it's also got like kind of ruching on it um stretchy on the back as well which makes it really easy to put on and it makes it really comfortable to wear i picked this up in a small i can't remember how much this was because i have already worn it a few times so i've taken the tag off but yeah it's also got a zip on the side as well like a hidden zip which makes it really easy to get on and i absolutely love this i know i'm gonna wear this so much i might even wear this tonight because i'm going um clubbing so yeah, again, a very versatile top. You could wear it for like clubbing or a nice dinner, um, even like a nice evening out. Like you could dress it up or dress it down depending on what you want to wear with it. And then the last thing that I picked up from Zara is this, I don't know what kind of colour to call it. It's like a, I want to say like an eggshell kind of colour. So it's not white, but it's also not cream. Um, it's a bit creased at the moment. I'm really annoyed because I don't have an iron at uni, so I might have to pop over to my boyfriend's and iron it before I wear it. But I have already worn this so many times, it's just creased because I washed it recently. Um, so I picked this up in a medium because I wanted it a little bit oversized. And this is like the perfect shirt to just throw over a top if you don't want a coat on, but you kind of need more than just a little top. Um, so yeah, it's quite like, it's not a super thick material, but it's not too thin either. So it's good for that transitional period. I love this. My boyfriend said I look a little bit like a painter, but you know what? I don't care, I love it. So next up, I got a top from Urban Outfitters. I had not been to Urban Outfitters in so long, but I went when I was in Manchester with my friends recently and I saw this and I actually fell in love with it a little bit. I love this so much. I feel like it's, like a bit more quirky than like a normal green jumper. I love like the stripes on it. I love the color combo and I don't own like anything green and I actually tried it on and really liked it. It's a very loose fitting jumper, which I love. I don't really like things that are too tight under my arms. I find it a bit uncomfortable. So I love this because it is a bit looser. Um, it was a little bit on the pricey side. I say a little bit on the pricey side, a lot on the pricey side. It was 44 pound, which I know is kind of a ridiculous amount to pay for a jumper but i have been working really hard recently so i thought i will treat myself and it's very different to anything i own so i don't feel like 
it's something that I could have got anywhere else. Like it's kind of the only thing I've seen like it. And then next up I'll do H&M. I only got a couple of things from H&M, but one of them was this cropped brown roll neck top. Well, it's not really a roll neck. It's more of like a high neck. And I love wearing high necks in autumn, winter. I feel like they suit me quite well. Um, and again, like the brown color, it is so in fashion at the moment. And this kind of top is so good for layering. So I could wear it like um, underneath some of the shirts that I'm gonna show you in a minute or like wear a gilet on top, anything like that. It's also really thick. So this will be so good when it comes to being quite cold. And then I also got this vest. Um, I've never really worn a vest before, but I tried it on with that brown roll neck underneath and I actually really liked it. So um, I'm hoping that I can get quite a lot of wear out of this. This was £12.99, which I don't think is too bad at all. Um, and I also feel like this would look really nice with like a white shirt on underneath. I briefly tried it on um, like at home, just one of like my dad's old shirts. So I need to get my own white shirt because I feel like this would look really nice underneath like and tucked into a pair of like baggy jeans or something. I also ordered a few things from Misguided. This was actually the only thing that I kept from the order though. Um, and it is this checked, it's like a rust color with white and black in as well. Um, and it's just like an oversized shirt. I feel like shirts like this are so easy to just throw on with some baggy jeans and a little crop top. Um, and it kind of is really good for that transitional period. So it's got a nice structured collar and then some buttons all the way down the front as well. It's such a nice material. It's kind of like a fleecy material, but like it's not a thick fleecy material. It's a really like thin, lightweight one. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love this. I tell a lie, that wasn't the only thing I kept from the order. I also kept this oversized gray hoodie. I actually don't own a gray hoodie like this. I have loads of like zip hoodies and I have a couple of grey ones of that but I don't have any hoodies actually like that aren't zip up ones and I feel like these are a lot cosier when it comes to colder weather and these kind of ones are also a lot easier to layer up with you can wear like loads of tops underneath and no one will be able to tell it's also fleece lined which is so so nice and I have already worn this when it was colder a few weeks ago and I can just tell I'm going to get so much wear out of this Next up, I ordered a few things from ASOS. Um, so the first thing is this checked, it's like brown and white, but it's also got a few kind of bits of burgundy in. So this will go really nice with the Zara bodysuit that I showed earlier. Um, again, it's got a collar on the front and a little pocket here and it buttons all the way down. This is such a nice material. It's really soft. Um, it's really thin and lightweight, but that makes it really easy for the transitional periods, as I've mentioned a few times now. And like if I throw on just a basic white um, crop top and some jeans and put this over the top, it just makes an outfit look a bit more stylish with minimal effort. So again, I'll get loads of wear out of this. And then also from ASOS, I ordered a couple of pairs of jeans, but these are actually Stradivarius jeans. I just got them from ASOS and they are the same style as the blue ones I have. So if you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen me wearing them a lot. I have this one pair of blue Stradivarius jeans and I absolutely love them. I wear them all the time. They fit so nicely um, and they're the only straight leg pair of jeans that I actually love. So I ordered two more colors in the same style because I knew that I was gonna love them. So I got them in this sand color and I don't, I've never owned a pair of sand color jeans or anything. So I thought I would try something different and these go really nice with the checked shirt that I just showed. Um, and I think these will be really nice to have in autumn. Like they'll go really nicely with like that brown roll neck that I showed earlier too. So very versatile. The lighting has just completely changed. I am very sorry for that. Um, but yeah, these are super good quality jeans. I would recommend Stradivarius jeans to everyone. These are quite long. I'm five foot six and these ones, I think I am gonna have to trim a bit, but because they are raw hem, um, they'll be pretty easy to just do myself. But if you are quite a bit shorter than me, then I would probably go for the petite range or um, yeah, maybe stay away from them because they are quite long. Um, but if you are five foot six or taller like me, then these jeans would be perfect. And then I also picked up these jeans in black because I don't have a straight leg pair of black jeans and straight leg jeans are my favorite style to wear. I just find them so easy. Um, and yeah, I've already worn these quite a few times. I absolutely love them. So these are the long straight fit. They are maybe a little bit too long for me, like they just are off the ground. These are not um, raw hem though. These are actually hemmed at the bottom. 
um, yeah, really good quality material and I absolutely love these. They fit so nicely. These are the last two items of my haul. I should have included this with the H&M stuff, but I completely forgot about these to be honest because I ordered these ones online and they are the gilets. You've probably seen these everywhere on TikTok. I was trying to get my hands on them for so long um, and they finally came back in stock online. So I rushed to get them. So I've got this brown one. It's like a really nice chocolate brown and they have like pockets at the front. It's got a zip up and they're not like super thick gilets, but they'll be good for the transitional period so I probably won't wear them when it's super cold but for like October November kind of time I think they would be perfect and then I also picked it up in black I'm not sure if I'm going to keep both colors yet I'm going to try on like them with various outfits and see like which one goes with more things if that makes sense so I'll probably only keep one um, but I thought I would just show you both of them. They're both really nice and they were only £15, I think. Okay, the price isn't on this one, but I'm pretty sure that they were £15 each, which I think is so good for a gilet and something that you can wear with loads of different things. So yeah, that is it for today's haul. I feel like I have rambled on a bit and spoken really quickly, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but I do hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.